Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to set up multi MC. There are a few things you need to know first. Between 116 and 117 versions of Minecraft, the required Java version changes. So if you're going to use uh, packs for either, you will need to install two versions of Java. So Let's uh, do that first. So in the description will have be all the links that you will require. So the first thing is to install Java 8. Java 8 is required for all mod packs that use Minecraft version 1.16 or below. And all you would need to do is go to the link in the description, which should take you to the latest version of Java 64 for Windows or whatever operating system you're using. The current latest version for me is eight, version eight, update one, uh, 311. Make sure it is definitely the 64-bit version, otherwise you won't be able to allocate any more than I think two or so gigabytes of RAM. And uh, download and install that. The next one that you may need is Java 16, which is required for any Minecraft version newer than 117. 117 and above, I should say. You can get that from the link in the description, which should take you to the Minecraft page for OpenJDK 16. And you would want to download the Windows 64 and the MSI installer um, for Windows uh, and the PKG file for Mac OS. Unfortunately, if you're on Linux, then you'll have to sort of do it yourself, but there should be other ways to install Java that way on there. So once you've installed both versions of Java, which I already have installed, you will need to download MultiMC. So go to the MultiMC site in the description. Then you can either click the download and install or scroll down to get to the download section. And you want to do the stable versions, don't need to do the developer version, and download the version for your operating system. I'm gonna download the Windows version, which I already have downloaded here. So first I will extract. So first you need to extract, it will download with like this, uh, MMC stable Win32 for me. So I will extract this. You can extract it with Windows, but I will extract it with Mult with um, WinRAR. Extract here. And here's MultiMC. So for the first time setup, you would need to run the MultiMC.exe. It will then bring up this uh, installer, so asking you what language you want. Um, I will use uh, English. Ah, there it is. I went over it a few times. Um, I will use British English as I'm British, but you can use either the US English or anything like that. I'm not sure what the difference between British and American English is, but hey, it's there, so I'll select it. Here's where you set the default Java version. Uh, I'm going to select the micro Java 8 as my default, and that, that means I'll have to manually select Java 16 in any pack that uses micro version 116 or above. And I'm going to take the current memory here and times that uh, here by eight. So I'm gonna allocate eight gigabytes of RAM by default. There you go. And that's gonna be my default. Next, I'm not gonna allow uh, analytics, but you can if you like. Finish. So here's the default page. So the first things that we need to do is go to settings. And then I go to uh, Java, make sure everything is set up correctly, which it is. And I like to change the interface to use the dark theme, and that will apply when you close the tab. Then you go to profiles at the top left and then go manage accounts. 
Here you will add your account. So I will add my Microsoft account. Click that. And you'll need to copy the code. If you're using a Mojang account, it will just ask for your username and password. I will put that in there. And then put my password in here. And then yes to allow it. There you go, it will be added to the list. Uh, if you're using Microsoft account, you will be notified that a new app is using your account. And that's basically your multi-MC setup. In most cases, um, there's a bit of a weird thing going on at the minute where the auth servers always show us offline, but that's fine. So the next thing you need to do is download the new, your, your uh, mod pack. So there's two ways of doing this. The first is to go just go add instance and create it yourself or find one using either the AT launcher, which is here, Curse Forge, the FTB launcher and legacy packs from FTB or the Technic launcher. It will be able to find and install all packs through this, no problem. For example, if I wanted to set up um, Pixelmon, I would just put that in and search, and here's all the Pixelmon packs, and that will be installed fine. It also has little icons and stuff like that. And um, you can also set per session, but I'm going to install one of my own packs. So I have my Midnight, Ver Midnight Verse pack, version 1.1. I'm just gonna drag it onto here, you can also, instead of dragging it, you can also just go add instance and select the zip file here. You can also just download it from the link as well. So drag that, it's gonna download it here. You can change the different things, add them to groups and stuff, but I'm not gonna do that in this case. So it's gonna download if it's gonna do it from your link and extract, so here it is. You can do certain things. For example, I can go to edit instance and change different sections if I need to. For example, if this is a 117, for example, if I add 117.1, it won't launch with the 116, a 1.8 version of, of Java, I mean. So, oops, wrong button. I'd have to edit instance, go down to settings, tick Java installation, so it uses, so it overrides the default, and then auto detect, and select Java 16, and then click OK. So now it will use that. You can also increase or change the amount of memory on a per um, session basis if you wish. Um, you can also change things like game windows and stuff and all workarounds, depending on if you're using an older version. So close that. And if I load up Java uh, 117, for example, that one will load fine. So. The first, when you launch any Minecraft version, if you've never launched it before, it will have to download the assets from the Mojang servers. But luckily it stores them in a sort of a global one and just points to them instead of doing it alternatively, having a new Minecraft installation every time, which is fairly nice. So there we go. It's gonna load up the pack now, the um, vanilla version of Minecraft. like so. Let's click that. And then I'm gonna launch this. You can change it. Another one you can change is if you go to user interface, you can change either by sort by name or sort by last launch, which I personally prefer. So if I launch this, it will again download any of the library files it needs from my Minecraft servers. and then it will launch the pack, like so. Um, basically, once you've done that, that is all that you need to do uh, to set up your uh, packs. Um, if there's any questions or anything that you need to do, or this, pack, or this uh, tutorial becomes an issue, just let me know in the comments. And if you need any other more assistance, you can always go to my website, which is also listed in the description.
can contact me via the contact form or go to my support Discord. Hope this tutorial helped. Have a nice day.